Hello everyone, my name is Rody and welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make nukes in Call to Arms Gates of Hell. Um, so if you did not know, Men of War Assault Squad 2 has nukes. It's in services, it's in damages, I think, yes, yeah, in damages, it's called like NUQ. Um, there's two of them. One of them, I don't, I don't know what it does, it just doesn't, isn't there, so. Uh, but the one you want is NUQ, not NUQ underscore X, if my memory serves me correctly. But uh, basically, that's the one thing base God does not have. In like last year, I figured out a way to actually make nukes for like a server, um, but I don't think that was ever really utilized. Um, so yeah, so I'm thinking to myself, I, I just remembered basically, hey, I know how to do this. Why not put it up on the internet so that you guys could have fun? Also. I guess you could also make like turn this into some way to make clutter bombs if you want. I uh, want to add a little bit more carnage to your uh, map. Want to do some war crimes? Uh, yeah. So without further ado, let's begin. I'm gonna be using the map Kalin or Kalinin, Kalinin I think it is. Uh, which I always get well I don't always get confused with Kaliningrad, but their names are similar is what I'm trying to say. Um, so first things first, we need to go to waypoints and type in the waypoint. Uh, we're going to do nuke one. I always do one even if there's only one of them because what if I want to add another one? It saves me from having to go back and rename it. Uh, put your waypoint down roughly in the middle of where you want it to land. Collect, um, select zero, uh, whatever the waypoint is. Radius, increase it to how big you want the nuke to be. I'm going to do a thousand. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty good nuke if I, I do say so myself. Now we're going to add another waypoint. We're going to call this nuke underscore trigger and there's a reason I'm doing this next in this um in this circle find exactly where you want the nuke to explode so it's usually going to be right on top of where right here right um go to new trigger click right where you want to explode select it and then reduce radius to 10. this will basically mean the trigger is going to happen right here and the radius is all of this. Next, go to triggers. Do we're gonna need two commands. So I'm gonna do nuke slash, you can call it really whatever. Uh, radius. Uh, we're also gonna copy this. Um, and nuke. Actually, we're gonna do radius first because I'm gonna show you a little bit of a, a tip, a trick I'd recommend you do. Uh, first things first, we're gonna add and insert in commands. We don't need any conditions, so just add a command. Uh, we're going to do delay. I'm going to have for one second, but in reality, this is basically how long until you want the nuke to start spread. This is spreading out. I don't really know how to put it. You'll see in a second what I'm talking about, but uh, yeah. Next, add insert again. We're going to go to generic. We're going to go to loop. Also, if you decide you don't want delay, just hold down control and then click on delay. This turns off the command without deleting it. Hopefully that helps you somehow. Uh, add insert. Uh, we're gonna do delay 0 0.2 uh, we're gonna add inside again we're gonna go to scene I think yeah scene spawn and we're gonna spawn in at the waypoint where our radius is meant to be which would be zero we're gonna go to entities and this is what I mean by nukes right we're gonna go to services we're gonna go to damage not damage we're gonna go to items it's kind of hard to find here but um what you basically have to do is find dynamite that's what you want to find not implantments uh i actually have no idea where dynamite is hold on i'm just I'm, you can just search it up dynamite or or not because apparently it just says fuse for some reason also i have gall installed don't worry about it, it really doesn't matter. Oh, inventory, right, right. Weapon. Demolition, and then basically I'd recommend Dynamite 7, and then 3 if you want to be weaker. And then I don't know about this, you're going to have to do your, um, your own suggest stuff, but I personally prefer to Dynamite. Actually, we're going to go like this, because I think it makes it so rifles cannot it accidentally explode or bullets can't accidentally explode dynamite because if you shoot dynamite it explodes and I guess we're gonna find out if it works if not just use any of the dynamites we're gonna hit okay I believe that's all we have to do 
uh, you might need another delay, but um, yeah. With a radius of a thousand, we're gonna try to have two. So we're gonna do um, 500. I know it's a lot, but hang in there. 500, and then we have to do a little bit of math here. Divide this by this, right? So it's basically for every one second, you get five. It's a hundred seconds we have to wait until we can actually trigger the nuke. I don't know why I didn't wait to copy this, but we're gonna copy it anyways. We're gonna do nuke slash trigger. Uh, we're gonna actually gonna turn on delay, which is just control, you know what I mean. Uh, we're gonna do a hundred and two seconds to give the time, to give it a little bit more time, right? Uh, we're gonna actually delete this and we're just gonna add spawn. Waypoint one or whatever your waypoint is. Uh, go down to services damage and then I'd recommend you go for the biggest artillery piece like this and now you should be good do not quote me on that uh, so we're just gonna hit start and we're gonna see what happens uh, yeah, I can feel them spawning I, I, I swear they're spawning uh, nuke All right. Yep, as you can see, here comes the uh, demolitions. Um, you can't do this with infantry. I've tried, so I thought it'd be like a good way to like spawn them everywhere. But uh, yeah, we're actually gonna speed this up a little bit. I should have had a delay or like a timer, but whatever. I have my audio very faintly on, and I'm waiting for to hear the. Uh, Yep, here it is. Okay, so it seems like they're still spawning, and I guess we're just gonna watch. Actually, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn on. I'm, I'm gonna give some sky to this. I don't want this to be kind of ugly. So, I, I like to watch my nuking in style, if you will. So, yeah. Okay, we're gonna do like right here. I'm recording, right? I, I hope I am. And voila. You can't really see it, but as you can tell, um, yeah, more explosions were caused because, yeah, and they're still sort of going out. But, um, yeah, that's how you make a nuke and call the arms gates of hell. So these did not explode well. You might want to add, like, more density because they are random, but, uh, just consider whatever is left as like fallout or something. Make your own like reason for it. Doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, if you found this useful, please subscribe and thank you all for watching. Peace. Hey, post production roadie here. Um, I figured out that the dynamite does like more of a staggered explosion, so it goes like a wave sort of, while the uh, German mines or whatever that I use in this video immediately explode. It also seems like the dynamite is more violent. Um, but, uh, yeah, here is the dynamite in case you're wondering what the difference is.